back their honeymoon period would be over I think it sort of now already is as people have discovered much as you predicted um, that <laughs> um, they're doing quite a lot of things that they didn't uh, they said they wouldn't do uh, and they're not doing any of the things that they said they would do well, huh. I, the, the, the great trick of their campaign was they never really let on what it was that they were planning to do. And, the, and, and the, the point that I repeatedly made was that if people won't tell you what they're going to do, then you should be suspicious. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and that they should have voted against it. But I couldn't get anyone to pay any attention. And no, it, it is, uh, it, it, on the simple professional grounds, it's, it's worse than I expected it to be. Mm. I think the rather pathetic way in which they've, they've, they've pretended that they had no idea what the state of the national Yeah, finance. nobody believes that, really, do they? Well, part, it's, it, there's a, there's a t tiny scrap of truth in it. I mean, there are some departments, particularly the Home Office, who are not very candid uh, to, with the Treasury about how much money they're spending, and I think there was some truth in that. But the real problem that Rachel Reeves got into was her decision to grant those public sector pay rises, and that was that, that was completely, uh, completely unfortunate forced decision. She didn't have to do that, and having done it, uh, she didn't have enough money to carry on without raising taxes, mm. which she will now be doing. The other thing, I, there's another part of these events this week, apart from the, the plans to concrete over the country, which I think everybody will hate when they find out what it means yes. in their own suburbs uh, or their own bits of the, of, of the countryside, if they're lucky enough to live there. But the, the other thing is this extraordinary decision by Bridget Phillipson, the Education Secretary, who not content with making it impossible for people on modest incomes to afford private education for their children, mm. uh, has now actually squashed an act of parliament uh, which was passed by both houses and had had the royal assent protecting free speech in universities. And she's actually gone to the lengths of, of, of saying she's, she's not going to implement this act of parliament. Mm. That's, I've never seen this happen before in, in, in all my No, I don't life. think I have either. An actual act of parliament being squashed before it can come into force. Now, why would they do that? This wasn't again, and if they didn't put it in their manifesto, I don't remember it even being in the King's speech. No. And yet, here it, and it, this shows you not just that these people can't count uh, can't count or add up and, and, and don't know how the economy works, apparently. But it also shows you that there's something much more powerfully ideological about this government than most people suspected. They go on and on about how, how much they don't like the Corbynites, but they themselves are people of the pretty hard left. Mm. And this, this, uh, this squashing of the free speech uh, act in universities is very telling and people should take a lot of lessons from it. No, they should be, as, as indeed is Rachel Reeves' um, breaking of her promise not to touch the uh, the fuel be the, the, the winter fuel benefit, uh, well, the pensions, they, which, which they've said, which Keir Starmer said he wouldn't do, she said she wouldn't do, Angela Brainer said they wouldn't do, she, they, they then did, and it, with a sort of certain coldness, I think, um, they've just said, well, never mind, um, we've decided to take this money off you because you don't need it and we're going to give it to the doctors instead. Well, there is a reason why the statements of politicians are exempt from the advertising standards authorities' uh, investigations. And that should tell you all you need to know. You absolutely just don't believe what people tell you. And the credulity, it seems to me, of some voters at the last election, about how the, their belief this would be a harmless government and there was nothing to fear from it, was, it, it, it remains incredible to yeah. me. And I'm not, I, I make no case for their predecessors, but I just say this is plainly, obviously worse, and each day it gets worse. Yeah. So here you are. Those who voted for it uh, seem to be to have um, some rethinking to do. Well, indeed. And, and, but there's not much any of us can do about it now, is there? Because they're Nothing, in for, no. the rest, for the rest of the time, for five years, uh, I guess. Yeah, and, the other, and they, may, they may get away with it to, to some extent because there's so many other things going on at the same time now, mm. uh, both at home and abroad, that yeah. it, it, is perhaps not getting the, the, the prominence that it should. No, exactly right. Well, Peter, we're going to leave it there, I'm afraid, because we must run. But thank you very much indeed. Peter Hitchens from the Mail on Sunday there talking about uh, the state of play.